Well, Grand Junction Rockies had a ton of activities planned for tonight's game against the Rocky Mountain Vibes. The Blue Angels were at the game and supposed to throw out the first pitch. It was fireworks Friday and a whole lot more, but apparently Mother Nature did not want to cooperate. One of the coolest moments, though, did happen. The U.S. Army Golden Knights had their parachuters land on the field before the game. That guy didn't make it, but this one did. Look at the clouds. I meant that he landed just shy of left field. He's okay. <laughs> Rockies also gave away wine glasses and sunglasses at the front gates for fans who got there early. Sun, though, was not a problem today because the rain started and kept on going. An hour delay soured things a little bit, but on the other side of it, as part of Navy Week, the Navy Southwest Band christened the game with tonight's national anthem. You've heard their mission on the Western Slope on our broadcast this week, staying engaged with the community and traveling to places you wouldn't normally find the seafarers. The community has been absolutely fantastic. They've been very welcoming to all of us that have come in. Uh, a great chance to interact with those that maybe aren't familiar with what the Navy's doing, as well as a chance to interact with Navy veterans and other veterans from uh, our sister services. It's a great opportunity to be able to come to a location like this, first time in the Western Slope and hopefully not the last. So the Rockies eventually got to play. The tarp was pulled and the lightning passed. Strikes actually were so close to the tower to Plesio, they lost power for a moment. But on the other side of the storms, a rainbow graced the field before first pitch. Let's get to the game now. First inning, Mitchell Kilkenny, the Rockies' second round pick in 2018, strikes out Micah Bello. And there goes Nick Kale as well. A very nice 1 2 3 inning in the first. He was staying loose during the delay. Bottom first now, Rockies' Eddie Diaz on the first pitch he sees. Double into left there, just past the outstretched glove of the third baseman. He would trot in with two bags, maybe something going here for the Rocks. Next batter, Julio Carreras. Nice little sack bunt to the third baseman, but he makes a play this time. Whew, that is Jess Williams. Rockies strand runners in the first. We still got a scoreless game, 0 0. Top second now, Edwin Sano for the vibes. Singles to center field with two outs. Very next better though, Rockies catcher Colin Simpson. Look at this throw. Guns down Sano trying to steal. We would be scoreless by the time I had to leave to do our, to our broadcast, unfortunately. Things, though, have changed quite dramatically from there. A 10-0 lead now in the sixth inning for the Rockies. Todd Isaacs has four RBIs on the day, including a double and a two-run home run. Colin Simpson also homered. Kilkenny finishing his night with four strong innings, striking out six and only allowing two hits. There was a scary moment for the Vibes in the third when first baseman Ernesto Martinez was knocked out following an infield collision. He was taken to the hospital as a precaution. I am working on an update for you on that now. We will have one on westernslopenow.com and our broadcast throughout the weekend on how he's doing.